Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer and in this video, we are going to run your favorite model on a virtual GPU service known as the RunPod. So this is the interface of RunPod.io and it has a bunch of virtual CP GPUs in which you can run these models. This is the Open LLM leaderboard of the Hugging Face and as you can see, we have new models coming up every day. And for running those models, as the number of parameters keeps increasing, the requirements of RAM is more and you don't want to restrict yourself to a particular RAM or be limited by a particular RAM. Now one of the important things why we should decide to use the virtual GPUs is that, you know, buying a physical GPU is first of all costlier on your pockets and second of all, the technology is evolving today you have 63 billion parameters model tomorrow you can have 630 billion parameters model and in that case you don't want to be limited by your gpu that is sitting on your local machine and for me personally it's very cost effective so let's create an account here so let's log in log in with google And this is a paid service so you need to put in your credit card and put in some money here so let me put $25 here so $25 and pay with my card let me add my card details here so card details month your CVC name and pay just gonna put in the one-time password here and just wait for a moment so this is done I think this is done so we have $25 give me some time to run this model run a model and test it out and then I'll be back in three seconds in three two one so let's get started again so we have this interface I have about twenty two point seven dollars on my account and we have these GPUs so on the secure cloud we have these GPUs as you can see the prices range from two point three dollars per hour and uh, to as low as point three four dollars per hour on the community cloud we have another and these are cheaper versions but if you want reliable connection you have to go for secure cloud and for this video demonstration i'm gonna go with the secure cloud here we have various templates here which are known as bots or pods we have various templates you can run pods so for example you have pytorch here we have stable diffusion you can run the stable diffusion model here you have tensorflow module and these many models or pods are available for you too you know all the community has the community has already uploaded so many bots that you can use uh, so many bots that you can use and that's it on the let's go back to the secure cloud again so these are the gpus so 8x 800 80 gb gpu we have rtx 4090 we have 1x rtx 680a we have 1x nvidia l40 on the previous generations we have and these are the new generations so let's try it out now i'm going to give you a link to a pod creator and this is a pod which has been created by the bloke if you don't know bloke he is tom jobbins and he is a pro member in the hugging face he has been constantly pushing models left and right in out every day so for example it's updated 22 minutes ago it's updated 26 minutes ago as you can see he has or i don't know who the person is the person has the bloke has updated and made possible to run all these models which are available basically everything is open source so i have selected this model for example this let's select this bloke Gwenaco 7b gptq now to run this model what you can do is we have the instructions here and as i've said i'm gonna paste it the link for getting this pod here now i'm just gonna select a gpu for running this pod which is the bloke local llm one click ui so let's select this select click on deploy and then you're going to go to custom deployment just going to change this to zero we don't want anything to store this is uh let's increase this to 100 uh, well 100 is too much you can you can decrease this to 50 okay set overrides and continue so no volume configured all that will be lost on board restart gpu cost will be about 0.79 us dollars per hour that is so less running cost will be 0 0.007 per hour and exit at discount is zero because we have applied zero in the disk so click on deploy and your bot is being built as we speak it should be ready in a few minutes redirecting to my bots so it goes to my bot my bots is this is running if you click here 
you can see the GPU utilization here, which is 7%. A CPU utilization, GPU is 0. GPU memory used is 0. We have the container. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to click on connect. And then you're going to go to the instructions that the bloke has given. So you're going to go to the model step. So you're going to go to start web terminal and connect to the web terminal. And then you're going to go back and click here, connect to HTTP service. Okay. So once it opens up the text generation HTTP service, you need to add in a model here. So click on model here and just scroll down. And in this model, you can click on the model step. So we click on the model step here. And then you need to download custom model Laura. You need to enter this. So what is this is that you need to enter copy the name here and you need to enter it paste. And then you need to click on download. So just click on download and let the model download here. So downloading files to model. So let it download for some time. In the meantime, when it is downloading, I just want to let's just uh, see the open LLM leaderboards. So currently the date is 7th of June, 2023. And today we have Falcon 40B Instruct, which is on the top. Then we have 30B Lazarus, Falcon 40B. I think I will create videos for all these models. You know, now that we have the bots running up, it will be easier to you know see the outputs of these models now this is done that is done so next what you're going to do is wait until it finished downloading okay click the refresh icon on the models on the top left so here we need to click on refresh and then in the model drop down choose the model you've downloaded so go echo so click here and go echo and if you see an error on the bottom right ignore it it's temporary so let's take select this block go echo go and echo and it's loading the model Go and echo successfully loaded that now fill out the gptq parameters bits for group size 128 model type llama so bits for group size 128 and model is llama just going to remove the auto load here and click save settings for this model and reload the model so you're going to click save settings for this model settings is being saved settings saved and reload the model just click on reload the model then once it says it's loaded, click the text generation tab and enter a prompt. So it's loading. Just wait for it. Successfully loaded. Now we need to go to text generation here. And then you're going to type in the style. You can select the style of prompt that, you're, that you want to work with. So for example, this prompt or let me select a different one. Let me select, let's say wizard. Okay. And now for testing out this model, I have given ask ChatGPT. Give me a list of questions. To ask an LLM for testing its capability on diverse topics, including include everything from essay writing to math, I mean everything. So certainly here is a list of questions that cover a range of topics, including essay writing, math, and more. So on the essay writing, let's check out the essay writing. So what are the key elements of a persuasive essay? We copy this and just paste in here and then click on generate. So let's see the output of this Gwenaco 7B model. A persuasive essay is an essay that attempts to convince the reader to a point of view, test the statement, evidence. I think it's pretty great. Okay, click continue and then you can see that it will continue because you have given 200 number of tokens. So let me increase this to 2000. Now let's go back to the questions. Science, explain the process of photosynthesis. So just put in here, click on generate. Let's see the output together. Photosynthesis is a process that plants and certain types of algae used to convert light energy into chemical energy occurs in specialized organelles called chloroplast, chloroplasts. Light dependent reaction, I think, it is good. Let's move on. Let's do some math. Solve this quadratic equation. Solve this quadratic equation. So just paste it here and click on generate. Let's wait for it. It is pretty fast as you can see and it's open source and it's fast. You don't need any API keys for OpenAI but it's pretty fast. As you can see this cannot solve the quadratic equation. Let's give it a simple equation here. Like solve this equation. Generate. Okay, solve this equation and it didn't give any step by step process. Explain in step by step mode, maybe. Click on generate. Let's see the step by step explanation if it is possible. To solve x, we need to subtract 7 from both sides. That's good. Now that you have the value of x, you can substitute it back to the original equation. Okay, so x is equal to 5. Let's move on and let's see. I'll discuss the main causes and consequences of World War II. I don't think it will have any problem in solving this or answering this. I click on generate and let's see. 
World War II was a global military conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945. Many causes and consequences, some of the causes are given here. So you can try playing with this model. This is how you configure the model. And once you have done playing, or sort of doing what you want, what you have to do, and don't forget that, is that you need to close everything and then you need to terminate this service. Otherwise, you would be charged at $0.797 per hour. So we click on terminate here, yes. And then it's over. You don't have anything in your pods. It is free. And the cost that we had incurred is about, I think about a point one dollars. So it's very less. As you can see, in summary, use virtual GPU because it is less costly and it helps you keep up with the latest technology. So for example, this is a new one, which is has about 80 GB here. You know, it's just $2.3 per hour and it needs reservations. So this is how you use RunBot and I urge you to have a look at this profile from the Hugging Face, the bloke. I urge you to look at the open LLM leaderboard and whenever you find any model which is outperform or is on the top, you should try to run this on GPU. And I think that's all. That's all how you, this is how you run the models in the virtual GPUs. I will see you in the next video where we'll try to sort of take a bigger model, for example, this. 40 billion instruct parameter and this is also on the top and we're gonna try to run this model here and also i'm gonna search the you know search the community for interesting models and i will come up with interesting videos as now we have the power of runpod.io i will attach a link for getting sign up with runpod now i'm sure you would like and you are liking this content keep subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos and please share this video, like this video to get the audience you know, coming. And having said that, this is a particularly new channel and I have created this channel to educate people and to you know, share just the interesting things on artificial intelligence that grabs my attention. And uh, I'm just a regular employee working in a company and I do have to find time to create these videos, but I love you guys so much and therefore, I try to come up with new videos because I have so many ideas that are lined up on my dashboard and I just need to find time to create these videos for you. Having said that, once again, I'd like to say bye for now. I'll see you in the next video with more interesting content like this. Bye bye.